Hi everybody, I'm planetary ecologist Roman Sibekin. Since 2003 we are recycling plastic waste in Volgograd. And we have research and development department for recycling plastic waste. We do collection plastic waste and we teach people how to sort out plastic waste from other waste. 12th of the May we had big fire accident in my eco office. This day I will remember all my life. At this day I came back from China, tire on my car had blew up and uh, my wife broke her leg and I took her to emergency room to put gypsum on the leg. And then when I drove back home my neighborhood called me on the phone and told me that all my buildings are on the fire. That's why I will remember this day all my life. Of course I lost a lot of buildings. I lost my house, it was built from plastic waste, concrete styrofoam bricks. On this territory was my mom's house. Also on this territory I had scientific production center, research and development department, laboratory, where we did a lot of experiments for creating new recycling technologies. Adaptation these technologies had creating new equipment for recycling technology did a lot of calculations on this area. Of course, fire accident, it was the chain of events since morning till evening, which led to such devastating and uh, tragic consequences for me. And uh, the main loss, I uh, lost my eco office. 15 on the May 2019, I planned to uh, open it. We made repairs there completely and uh, I had planning that kids and uh, school children come to my eco office and uh, we will teach there why important collection and uh, recycling plastic waste, how we can give new life for old things or implement uh, they are in uh, new ways. We have already settled a new eco startup where the girls gave new life to old things. They brought old US uh, furniture, painted it, uh, restored it, and uh, then planned to sell it. But this furniture burned out too. Our eco greenhouse, which was built from plastic glass, this plastic glass was made from recycled PT bottles also burned down. Consequences, of course, is uh, very terrifying for me. To recover all, all the information, equipment, technique, in order to restore the eco office in alone, needs at least seven years. Here we had equipment uh, brought for restoration and we have uh, completely restored it. We gave new life to old equipment because uh, it's very expensive to buy new equipment and uh, nobody needs old. And uh, we have uh, the knowledge and the experience of uh, how to completely restore equipment and uh, uh, give new life to old equipment. Here was our greenhouse and you can see the stairs to the third floor and on the third floor we wanted to make a large greenhouse on the roof. This is a city farmer project. Uh, it would be an example for 
others that instead of uh, the usual roof you can make an excellent greenhouse and grow organic vegetables there that was our truck on which plastic waste was uh, taken out it was a mobile power station It was an electric fork lift. On uh, our territory uh, there were uh, a lot of boards because uh, we don't have a gas and uh, all the buildings were heated with the wood. We had a lot of shelvings. Shelvings, here also stand the uh, shelvings. And uh, shelvings were full of uh, firewood. And uh, that was uh, the case of the fire. Uh, the fire moved from uh, one shelving to another. All this uh, led to such a massive fire. Here we had a scientific productional center. Here we had creating an uh, experimental plastic recycling machines because uh, we had to understand uh, whether these machines will work in the future or not. And uh, how they will work in the future? Well, uh, I can show you briefly what we wanted uh, to do. This uh, we did a small press for uh, pressing plastic waste. This press can still be restored uh, because uh, the fire was not strong here. Here we had created a dashboard for extruders and uh, it was a dashboard. You can see how he looked like, uh, what he had inside, and uh, in the future we will release a video how we did it. Here we have uh, such a triangular mold. Just a second, I uh, need to remove uh, the burnt board. This uh, is for the project modular systems for cities. We also began to do it, began to develop. And uh, while this, uh, like other projects, has been stopped because uh, on the fire. A lot of equipment burned down on uh, which we all did it. Welding machines, grinders, compressors expensive specialized tools there were so many things uh, there were a lot of uh, high precision equipment and uh, apparatus high precision and very expensive uh, sensors high precision measure tools because we had to understand uh, at what temperatures the equipment was working at what temperatures it wasn't working how it was working, how long it can work, etc. etc. Here we have uh, another dashboard for the extruder and uh, frequency converters for electric motors. Here the dashboard, 
these are our frequency converters which are also so expensive there are about 10 of them and half of them are for managing engines for 132 kilowatts per hour you can see a cone and a cabinet behind it this is a weighing equipment of a high precision dispenser which can dose substances in uh, milligrams to add uh, substances to the plastic uh, and change uh, its structure or improve to strength then uh, or vice versa to do with soft and uh, supple everything depends on the pupils for the experiment all kinds of uh, shut off valves and the thermocouples you can see it's a whole box of uh, thermocouples and uh, a lot of uh, different things well uh, you can see from uh, the other side uh, of what uh, remains In the left half uh, I lived uh, with my family and uh, in the right half we had an uh, eco office. As I said uh, we plan to place eco startups in the eco office that will help uh, preserve nature. We plan uh, to give them a place where they can work, help them with uh, knowledge, experience, consultations, do various experiments together and on uh, our equipment, can help uh, financially introduce investors to the future development of the project. The most uh, interesting survived uh, samurai made from rubber tires we did it for the promotion of the separate collection uh, plastic waste and for me he is a symbol of the fact that samurai do not give up and i also like one statement we do not strive for victory we are only deprived of the right to lose and therefore if we do not win the fight against uh, plastic waste plastic collapse will occur in the world and our planet will be as scorched as uh, my rains now I do not want to allow this I will strive to work in this direction I want my children our children to live in a clean environment and in a clean world I want to draw the attention of the world community that plastic waste around the world is not very well recycled my plan is to restore the eco office as quickly as possible. To promote respect for nature among children and uh, school children. To popularize uh, the separate collection system. To promote the recycling of plastic waste. And uh, who has the opportunity? It can be any opportunity. Someone can send us tools power tools, someone can help us with the money, it can be any help for us. You can send us the tools by the transport company, I will write you an address. From each person a small third to a naked person with you a shirt.